The VAMP Plus system standardizes blood sampling techniques for consistency, accuracy, and safety you can depend on. The VAMP Plus system is available with or without an Edwards True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer for a complete solution that protects clinicians from unnecessary exposure to blood, enhances patient safety, and protects your hospital's bottom line. Setup, priming, sampling, and flushing are quick and easy with the VAMP Plus system. The 12cc reservoir allows ample clearing volume for flexible use in the operating room as well as in the intensive care unit. The VAMP Plus system reservoir can mount securely on an IV pole for convenient one-handed use or can be detached from the holder and used like a syringe. The self-sealing pre-slit Z-Site sample port is designed to enable the collection of undiluted samples while greatly reducing residual blood buildup and reducing the chance of infection. Blunt cannula design provides safety during the process by eliminating the needle sticks associated with blood sampling. The direct draw system with blunt cannula provides an extra level of efficiency and convenience by enabling blood to be pulled directly into a vacuum tube. The ergonomic design of the VAMP Plus system features an audible lock mechanism that prevents inadvertent filling of the syringe. The Edwards VAMP family of closed blood sampling systems is designed to protect the patient and the clinician from complications associated with traditional sampling techniques. Traditional sampling risks in the critical care setting involve removal of the stopcock cap and storing so that the inside of the cap remains sterile, accessing the sample port, storing the cap, and connecting the waste syringe places the system's sterility at risk. Drawing the clearing volume involves the risk of an inconsistent amount of clearing volume drawn and the risk of diluted lab samples. Discarding the clearing volume wastes the patient's own blood, thus increasing the chance that the patient will require a transfusion. Connecting sample syringes to draw samples requires additional access that increases the risk of contamination at the port. Transferring a blood sample to a vial via a needle puts the clinician at risk for needle stick injury and bloodborne pathogen exposure. Flushing the port to clear residual blood also puts the clinician at risk for bloodborne pathogen exposure. Replacing the stored cap puts the system's sterility at risk for contamination of the cap or sample port. Now that you've been introduced to the VAMP Plus system, let's start our in-service by setting it up. To begin, Remove the VAMP Plus system from the package using aseptic technique. All connections should be checked, secured, and tightened. Next, mount the VAMP Plus system on the IV pole or simply set the reservoir on the bed next to the patient. Now that you have set up the VAMP Plus system, let's learn how to prime and use the system. The first step is to push the reservoir plunger to the closed and locked position. You will hear an audible click when the plunger is in the closed and locked position. Next, with the shutoff valve in the open position, which is parallel to the tubing, hold the sampling site above the reservoir at a 45 degree angle. Now provide flow by pulling the flush device of the Edwards True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer. Slowly fill and debubble the reservoir at each sample site in succession. When that is done, ensure all air is removed from the system. Then connect to the patient's catheter. You are now ready to use the VAMP Plus system for blood sampling. Note, depending on the procedure and policy of the hospital, you will need a direct draw unit, blood transfer unit, blood collection tubes, syringes, alcohol preps, and needleless cannula. The first step is to release the plunger latch and smoothly draw back on the reservoir plunger until the plunger stops at its 12 cc volume capacity. The recommended draw rate is one second for each cc. When the volume has been drawn, 
Close the shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. Once the line has been cleared, swab the vamp plus needleless sampling site with disinfectant such as alcohol or other antiseptic, depending on hospital policy. To draw a blood sample, use the VAMP direct draw unit. Note, do not use a hypodermic needle through the sampling site. Using aseptic technique, peel open the pouch of the direct draw unit. Ensure that the cannula is securely tightened to the direct draw unit. The VAMP Plus system gives you a choice of one or two sample ports. This provides perioperative sampling flexibility between surgery and intensive care. For example, in a surgical setting, an anesthesiologist may choose the sample site located nearer to the disposable pressure transducer and reservoir, whereas an ICU nurse may choose to use the sample site nearer to the patient. Choose the swabbed sample site for your application and push the cannula of the direct draw unit into the sampling site. Insert the selected vacuum tube into the open end of the direct draw unit and push until the internal needle of the direct draw unit has punctured the rubber disc on the vacuum tube and fill to the desired volume. Repeat this step as required to fill additional vacuum tubes. When the last sample has been drawn, remove the vacuum tube first and then grasp the direct draw unit by the cannula and pull straight out. Discard the vamp direct draw unit after use according to hospital policy. Once all samples have been drawn, it is now time to reinfuse the clearing volume. To do so, open the shutoff valve by turning the handle parallel to the tubing. Then reinfuse the clearing volume slowly, smoothly, and evenly. Once again, the recommended infusion rate is one second for each cc. You will hear an audible click when the plunger is in the closed and locked position. When completed, flush the VAMP Plus system by pulling the flush device on the True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer and swab the sampling site according to your hospital's policy to remove any excess blood. Now that we have learned how to take a sample using the direct draw method, let us review the method of taking a sample using a syringe and blood transfer unit, or BTU. First, ensure the reservoir plunger is in the closed and locked position. You will hear an audible click when the plunger is in the closed and locked position. Release the plunger latch and then smoothly and evenly pull down on the reservoir plunger until the plunger stops and the reservoir has reached its 12 cc volume capacity. Once the clearing sample has been drawn, close the reservoir shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. This will further ensure that the sample drawn is from the patient and not from the reservoir. Swab the VAMP needleless sampling site with disinfectant, such as alcohol or other antiseptic, depending upon hospital policy. Next, obtain an individually packaged VAMP needleless cannula and lure tip syringe. Using aseptic technique, peel open the cannula pouch. Pick up the cannula by the protective shield. Attach the cannula onto a selected lure tip syringe by aligning the cannula lure lock to the lure tip on the syringe and by twisting until secure. Ensure that the syringe plunger is depressed to the bottom of the syringe barrel. Push the cannula into the vamp needleless sampling site and then draw the required volume of blood into the syringe for sampling. Note, do not use a hypodermic needle through the sampling site. To remove the syringe cannula assembly from the sampling site, grasp the cannula and pull it straight out. Once the sample has been drawn, open the shutoff valve by turning the handle 90 degrees so that it is parallel to the tubing. Smoothly and evenly push up on the plunger until it locks in place in the fully closed position and all fluid has been reinfused into the line. You will hear an audible click when the plunger is in the closed and locked position. The recommended infusion rate is one second for each cc. The clearing sample should not remain in the reservoir for longer than two minutes. Flush the line clear and swab the sampling site, ensuring removal of any excess blood left on the sampling port.
To transfer the blood sample from the syringe to vacuum tubes, use the blood transfer unit, or BTU. Using aseptic technique, peel open the pouch. Ensure that all connections are tight. Hold the VAMP blood transfer unit in one hand and push the cannula on the filled sample syringe through the VAMP blood transfer unit needleless injection site. Insert the selected vacuum tube into the BTU's opening until the internal needle has punctured the rubber disc on the vacuum tube. Fill the vacuum tube to the desired volume. Repeat filling tubes according to the requirements for the patient's blood study. Discard the VAMP blood transfer unit after transferring the blood sample from the syringe into the vacuum tubes. Discard all syringes and cannula after use according to hospital policy. For over 40 years, Edwards Life Sciences has been helping you make proactive clinical decisions to advance the care of surgical, critical, and emergency department patients. Through continuing collaboration with our clinicians, ongoing education, and our never-ending quest for innovation, Edwards continues to develop smart hemodynamic management solutions that enable proactive decision support.